so let's try this one with the quadratic uh, formula. Why am I using the quadratic formula again? Mainly because the coefficient of x squared is 5. It's just really hard uh, to use the uh, completing the square when the, the lead coefficient is not 1. Can you? Yes, you can. But because it, it's, it winds up becoming harder than the quadratic formula, it just makes more sense to use the quadratic formula. So here, a is 5, b is 2, and c is 1. So a is 5, b is 2, c is 1. So um, I'm going to do the quadratic formula. x is equal to negative b, so that's negative 2, plus or minus the square root of b, parenthesis 2, squared, minus 4 times a, which is 5, times c, which is 1, all over 2 times a, which is 2 times 5. There we go. And so now I just need to, you know, clean, clean it up, do some arithmetic. x is equal to negative positive 2 is just negative 2, plus or minus square root, 2 squared is 4, and then negative 4 times 5 is negative 20. Negative 20 times 1 is negative 20, so it's 4 minus 20 over 2 times 5 is 10. And then I can just put equals, so I'll bring over the negative 2 plus or minus the square root of 4 minus 20, that's negative 16, so that's negative 16 over 10. Now. We have the discriminant is now negative, and because the discriminant is negative, we can say that there are two complex solutions. Okay? Now, they're not too complex, there's just two quantity complex solutions. There's two solutions that are complex. There's a, a dumb math joke. Okay, so look, now. What I can now say is that x is equal to negative 2 plus or minus. Now look at this. The square root of negative 16 is 4i because the square root of 16 is 4 and the negative under there means we put an i on. So it's plus or minus 4i all over 10. Okay, And so now... Uh, uh, we can split this out into two. We can do negative 2 plus 4i over 10. So one of the solutions is negative 2 plus 4i over 10. And the other one is x is equal to negative 2 minus 4i over 10. But this is not an answer. Remember, uh, we have to separate the fractions. We can't just have it over 10. We have to write x is equal to negative 2 over 10 plus... 4i over 10, but this still isn't even done because we need to simplify negative 2 over 10. Uh, so ne negative 2 is divisible by 2 and 10 is divisible by 2. So it becomes negative 1 fifth plus and then 4 over 10. Both of those are 4 and 10 are both divisible by 2. 4 divided by 2 is 2. 10 divided by 2 is 5. So we have plus two-fifths i. So one of our solutions is negative one-fifth plus two-fifths i. Okay? This one, we're going to do the same thing. We're going to split it out. Negative two over ten minus four over ten i. Okay? And then x is equal to negative two over ten is the same thing as negative one-fifth. And then four over ten is the same thing as two-fifths. I. And so our other solution is negative one-fifth minus two-fifths I. Okay? And now you can see why it was so important that we do that, that lesson on complex numbers. Okay? All right, so that is another quadratic formula method uh, where this one winds up with two complex solutions. So I think I've given you an example of the quadratic formula with a discriminant that's positive, a discriminant of zero, and now a discriminant that's negative. Okay. Now, in the next couple of videos, I'm going to do examples of the um, completing the square.